Okay, hello again. This is Shin Max 625 with another homebrew for PSP Slim. This is for the PSP Slim this time, not the fat. We got a War Edition, very beautiful red. Just wish I didn't have that icon of Kratos on the background. It's okay, but I'd rather just have an all red system. But anyway, enough of that. Let's start it up and get to showing you where the what firmware I'm running on this one. Currently right now I'm running on all my systems firmware 4.01 M33-2. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at that for proof. System settings. Guess I'm gonna cover up my MAC address. Another 4.01 M33 2. Let's see if I can get that focused in a little better. Okay, see it's that. Alright, let's back out of that. Now well, today's homebrew is going to be my Pico drive which can run Sega Genesis and Sega CD ROMs ISOs. This is my custom eboot I use with PSP Brew to customize it. Going to various sites trying to find the video files and stuff. Let's launch it. Let's see if I can get a little bit more comfortable so I don't have to hold the camera so close to my face. Alright. Oh. Let's see if I can change this. This is Pico Drive version 1.40B it's loading a ROM or ISO let's go with uh, let's see games circle you got Genesis ROMs here and three say CD files which are my favorite games Mansion of Hidden Souls, Night Trap and Sonic CD now let's go ahead and try with Genesis ROMs since we know there is issues with DGen and PSP Genesis running certain games Pico Drive has rather impressed me as the best Sega Genesis emulator because it can run any, I mean any Sega Genesis CD, uh, Sega Genesis ROM file. This is when Road Rash, the first one, would not run properly on PSP Genesis or DGen. So, let's load it up. And plus some of them would change the color and textures of it. See if I can set my camera up to where I can play this well. And as you know, with most of the Road Rash games, if you try playing them, it had the screen as a white color. Or better yet, here, let's do this. Reset game. I like to make sure I get the full view of the PSP, whereas some people would like to just have the screen and have all around them all dark and black because they've got videos there's just nothing more in the video like some of the people that like to fake the Nintendo 64 emulation alright come on anytime now let go into demo mode
Okay, well, anyway, you get the... Oh, here we go. God dang it. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to... See, it runs fine. The street is all black, like the originality, instead of some of the emulators. Even once for PC, where the the color of the street would be the same color as the sky. So I mean, it runs great. Now let's go ahead and go with the Sega CD ISO. Go back to the home. Let's go with Sonic CD. Sonic CD ISO. When you get this ISO, have the MP3 files in the same area with this. Either that or you're not going to have any music or sound. See, so it's going to process CD image and MP3s. Okay, it's running kind of jumpy here, so let's change options, fast, frame skip, auto, Sega CD needs to be adjusted for us, thanks, so let's try this again. And now there you go, see it's running fine. Now you can tell this is an NTSC file because the it would say Mega CD if it was the PAL file, which this does run PAL and NTSC. Now, granted, all not all files from Sega CD will run here. Like Mortal Kombat, Sega CD will not work. Um, Time Gal will not work because they're well, Time Gal's a PAL program. It's not because they're PAL. It's just this is not completely programmed with all the files available. Granted, they will update hopefully soon. Anyway, that's my presentation for DJ uh, for Pico Drive. Very wonderful program for Sega Genesis emulation. For those of you that are fans of the Sega, and there you go. A little video intro, and to show that this is not a video, it's only jumping every now and then. Yeah, say simple example. Anyway, that's it for today. Enjoy.